Fruitbats, welcome to another episode. So today's video is about why I hate kids. Hate little maggots. Why I hate kids. Fucking and he maggots. Hates, he hates kids too. So look, <laughs> I don't hate kids, that's, that's really an exaggeration, but I don't like them. I'm going to be honest with you, don't punish me for being honest. I don't like kids, I've never really wanted to have kids. The only time I've wanted to have kids is when I was younger and I felt the pressure as a female to pop out a child. I know a lot of you girls out there feel that pressure as well, and it's fucked. You know, there's no reason that we need to pop out another hungry mouth to feed. There's 153 million fucking orphans on the planet. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I found out that there's over 150 mil million. It's just like, it's crazy that's to like, have more kids. That's like seven times the population of Australia almost, like six times or something. That's crazy. Yeah, so there's a lot of hungry fit. <laughs> there's a, hung a lot of hungry mouths to feed already. So, like, if you have kids already, obviously you can't do anything about that. So look after them, bring them up vegan right. as best as you can. But a lot of people are like, oh, you guys have got to have kids because they're going to be, like, they're going to change the world. You know, they're, they're going to be vegan leaders. And that's all very nice to think Bullshit. in that way. Hey, that might be a reality, but the chances of it not being a reality are far stronger because pe kids, have, you know, people, kids are kids. Kids are people. They have their own thoughts, their own desires, all that sort of stuff. So you can only do your best. But I've seen so many families, like vegan families who brought the kids up vegan and then they've just gone to McDonald's after fucking that. Fucking oath, bro. Just become real little consumers. My mum never so, did fucking meth. She was never in prison. But how come I did meth when I was in prison? <laughs> My mum never got into street fights or fucking all this shit. How come I did? Everyone's their own individual. So if you He fucking, doesn't use anymore. If you expel look like a dude, it's just cars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking straight as guys, straight as a fucking arrow. <sighs> Here's the fucking thing, you unicorn riders. You think that you're gonna, oh, I'm gonna have kids with this fucking lovely guy and it's just gonna be the best thing ever. I'll tell you what, it ain't. That's delusion. It's That's a lot like of point zero one percent reality. Mm. Most fucking relationships get fucked up in a divorce, single parents, man. Mm. That's most. That's your reality. That's most. I mean, most relationships have their challenge as it fucking is. Fucking oath, man. I mean, I, I just want to kill this guy half the time. So I mean, like, I who wants to fucking... kill me? handcuff this bitch to the fucking kitchen like it, it's different man so you, you can't expect like it's not the fucking it's not like painting a room I'm gonna paint this room here it's gonna have some rainbows over here it's gonna have some little unicorns and my little pony now you can do that in your bedroom you can create reality and paint but you can't fucking ch create a kid and expect them to do everything you want them to do yeah Welcome to parenting, motherfuckers. I mean, like, so society is so, like, pushing what? women, especially, into having kids. I mean, like, in their, their teens, late teens, it's like... And even my mum, like, she's just doing what she's conditioned to do as well, is saying, like, when, when are you going to have grandkids? She's given that up now. But for a long time, she's like, when are you going to have grandkids? And why don't I have any grandkids? But we've got to think past our own selfish desires to the bigger picture. We've got a big fucking problem here. People are eating animals left, right, and center. We're destroying, raping the environment, the ocean. We're fucking raping each other. People are shooting each other in the fucking head every day, man. People are stabbing this. It's pretty disgusting. You know, it's, it's, fucking, a, it's, it's a bad a situation. World, Do you man. want to bring the kids into that situation? So you gotta just consider that, definitely. So that's why I hate kids. I mean, like, if I get to know a child and stuff, like, I, I was never brought up with kids, you know, I never held them or anything like that. How do you hold a baby? I don't even know. I've got a Both baby carolers coming in soon in this video, so we'll, we'll look after baby carolers soon. <laughs> but people say, well, how do you not you have, don't have kids? have a desire. What about contraception? Vasectomy. Yeah, well, he's had a vasectomy, so that is definitely a good thing. Don't have to worry about anything it, in mate. that regard. So that's it, really. That's, that's, we'll talk a little bit so more. So think about it, girls. Think about it before you just go and have Think before you fuck. Guys. Yeah, definitely. And wear a condom. Don't be an idiot and not wear a condom with a guy because you might get some sort of disease and you might end up with a child. <laughs> yeah, man. You know? And guys don't fuck girls without condoms, you know? Be fucking um, smart. Hey, don't hey, hey, here's a tip, that. girls. Most guys don't give a fuck if you get pregnant because you're the one who has to have the abortion or whatever. They're guys who just mm. want to, they're just going to get a load out, load in. That's right. right. So, d you can, like, girls don't fucking understand this. Most guys are just like horny dogs, like, I want to fucking bust a nut into her. They don't really give a fuck what's going to happen to you. You're going to be at the abortion clinic doing all that shit yeah. or taking the toxic chemicals morning after pill. Most guys don't give a fuck if you have to do it. Like, a oh, dumb bitch, got to fuck her anyway. See you later. Don't call me. I'll call you. Guys want to fuck. All right. So just understand that, man. Most guys will bullshit you to get between your legs, load, get a load in, and then get out. Mm -hmm. Most guys go, oh, it's not true. Most guys are... No, no. He's also fuck the you. Vasectomy or not, right. most guys will do that. So Bingo. you got to really think about that. Definitely. Think before you fuck. Yeah. So that's the thing. Just girls, think about it. And you don't have to have kids. You don't, you don't have, have to have kids. Them. Double income, no kids. Mm -hmm. Dinks. 
Best lifestyle ever. We wake up every fucking day doing what the fuck we want to do. You know, no kids at school or no vaccine. All this, uh, all this pressure. And, uh, if you want it, yeah, don't man, give in to the pressure. It's yours. Don't give in to the pressure. It's your life. It's not your parents' life. It's not your grandparents' life. It's your life. Mm. Make the final decision. Don't go there. I'm telling you. Even if you look, even if you love kids, you know that's great. Go and volunteer in an orphanage. Go and help out at a school. Do something like that. You don't have to pop one out yourself. So that's it. Yeah, I want to that's close it. up in this one. You want to close up on this one? Do you? Oh, on my close. Channel, I'll just share my closing thoughts and you share yours. I'm just going. I get people say, "Oh, but the orphans aren't my problem." They are your motherfucking problem, motherfucker. Because if you want to have if you, kids, I want to have my own kids. It's not the same. No, no. There's 153 million fucking orphans out there, and all the kids today, even with parents, most of them don't even get any fucking love and attention. So those kids are going to be going to school with your kids. They're going to be fucking your kids when they're teenagers or stealing drugs from or living next door or whatever. So you've got to think what fucking world you're going to be bringing your kids into. This world is fucked. It ain't getting any better. Travel outside of Walmart and Macy's. Get in a fucking mind expansion kit. But just travel with your bicycle and see how people treat you on the road. This world is fucked up. We need to solve the current situation, the current problems, before we start bringing more people on. That's just my two cents. I had a vasectomy. I walk my fucking talk. Freely. <laughs> So think before you fuck, girls, okay, girls and guys, think before you fuck, definitely. Don't give in to the pressure, live your life for you, not your grandparents, not your parents, live your life for you, you might be dead tomorrow, don't make a stupid um, decision like that, and you might be connected to the guy, well, you're going to be connected to the guy if you have a baby, obviously, for the rest of your life, so you really need to think about that. Think about the bigger picture, about the animals, about the planet, about your body as well. Do you want to do that? Money. Do you want to do that to your body? Money, financial commitment. It's, it's said to be like a quarter of a million dollars, isn't it, to bring up a child? It'll be more than that if you're going to raise on a healthy food. Yeah, so hey, you had your bit. You had your bit. Right. Like, sit back and relax. Right. Yeah. So that's it, really. Just that's it. And convince your man to get a vasectomy. Think before it's you fuck. Great fall. idea. It's a really awesome idea. All right, so that's our video for today. Leave your comments down below. I know this is controversial and that's great. We need to talk about this shit. Not enough people talk about it. They just pop out babies. They're like, oh yeah, let's go and hang out at the, like, at the little mummy's club <laughs> together in our high heels and prams and stuff. Like, seriously. Go take some more that's Xanax. Not, that's not the sort of life that I want or I will ever have. So let me know in the comments below what you think about it. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to go for it or eat yourself.